Have you gone through the recordings and all uh, that previous session? Is there any problem? No, no. No. Okay. So today I'm going to start one new thing that is your React router. React router. Okay. And that you know, if uh, React router is very important in our React project, right? If in every project, router is required. So if we have to route some one place to other place, that right, home to about other components, then we should require some routing. So that I will focus today. This uh, how to how can we route from one component to other component? So that thing today I'm going to discuss. I'm sharing my screen. Please confirm if my screen is visible or not. Yes, it's visible. Yes, it's visible. Yes. So before going to install any React Router DOM, React Routing, we need one package. That is your, uh, we can say the package name is React Router DOM. That we have to install. And current version is that 6.4.3 React Router DOM we are going to install. In our system, and uh, one more thing that is also important means snippet. That you all, I hope you all understood this thing. So that is the simple React snippet. So it's available in that extension, right? You, if you are installing this thing, so every time you are writing the code like function, this ABC, this thing, so that has some shortcuts. The shortcuts. The shortcuts they have provided on a minute you can see that snippet shortcut right if you want to import react imr import react dom imr rd like i am to create one component function component suppose so i have to create sfc and one cursor is blinking right so i have to create that home But I prefer that you write it manually by your own. But it's a bigger project, or if you're working in a project, that time every time not need, no need to write the all all the things. So you have to install this thing. That might be your extension. You can extend this thing, and you can write uh, the the basic structure of the code. Okay, like IMR, you can that input is coming. IMR D, you can that React DOM that's coming. Okay. Now I'm going to install um, this package. That is your React Router DOM. In my case, I have already installed, but I'm going to see on the npm i React Router DOM. That package you have to install and after if you install this thing, then the package the JSON file will get react routed. This is installing your system. Okay. Now today I'm going to create some routing, one page to other page, the components, and trying to route these things. Okay. I'll start to create one. Um, Create one home dot chase file. Create one component.
let's create other component i said i keep one thing i'll create one component folder it's the component to add this thing that's on one page i'll create that is about dot jpg In the app dot js i have to create one thing that is app and i am click create one dig and dig class name that is app I'll create one each one tag and react router. I'll write react router. See the D. I have to add one package. Means that react router DOM has provided. So that name is browser router. So import browser router from the package is React Router DOM. React Router DOM. Into the package, we'll create outs. Out. Part part is your home plus home. I will run same thing in the about. I will create one div something that is div and on about. Function I remove and I have to input. In app js what I've declared home right so home I have to import react as home And I have to make one element to the part. Like you can see, element. I'm going to change it to the actor js index app.
element i simply write home app that is app need to add one thing that is allowed or who you pick yes the allowed what i will do routes and i will add this route into the route also add route that is that if i will normal fast page index and object router 6 is coming and home so instead of h1 tag here i want to add that component home component right yes sir but can i do one thing that is your browser router can i wrap it in the index file will copy it and paste it yeah okay so the app dot js Have to copy this thing. I no need to add the browser router in application the root in the index. I'll add these things, right? So, browser router to format it. And in the app JS, no need to write browser router. And also this thing. Now I have to import the home, right? Import home. So if I will add the home component in the element. So it will also work. If I want to go and change something, this value. Right. Now same thing I will do in the about us component. Copy this thing. Instead of home, the route name I will use about. But for the index page, if no. The value is coming here. Right? So element I will again import home a uh, about and use about component. Here I will add the home component. Nothing is there. Slash home. About component, about a page is there. Now, next thing that I have to create some button link and 
I have to add those component and links with that routing, right? So how will we can do that? So I will go there and I have to input one link. Link is normally a HRF tag, right? What I will do? I will add one link. And in the link, a simple tag like a HRF and two. You can do what I will do about, and here I will write about. Oh, so it's routing in the about us, right? Same thing, I will do one thing. Let's copy and paste one tag that is your home or here you can do home and here home. So home about two pages changes. So link and routes that will be wrapped inside that browser router. If we will not add, add inside the browser router, so it will not work. So uh, that is in, I am add the link and routes inside the app. Yes. So can I do one thing? I will create the link separately, different component, other component, and try to add this thing. So do one thing in the component, add one, nab dot nab bar one nab bar dot chairs yes. sfc you can add nab bar and in the nav bar, we have to copy this link onto it and paste here. And I have to copy this thing also, and only link is required from there. Right? So copy and go to the nav bar, paste. No need to write anything, only link will add. Uh, Koshik, any special yes. things that we benefit from saving those components as JSX instead of JS? No, no, no. There is no. Uh, when you do it that uh, TypeScript, nah, that hmm. time TSX is different, means TSX we can write, right? But JSX we cannot. You can see that JS and JX both both are working same line, right? Right. So they are interchangeable, right? No, no. Yes, yes. So you can also add JS or JS. If I will do in the JS, JS, same thing will work. Only okay, icon is change over there, but I don't think so. There is much more difference currently, right now. Okay. But if the TSX we will add, that time uh, you have to we have to install the TypeScript component, TypeScript environment. We have to create this thing. Okay. And then it will work. Now, what I will do? Yes, home. To copy it. And in the app case, I will go. Import component 
Now if I copy so in the app js and that is the nav. Now I'm going to refresh this thing to home and about. So we can create the separate component, okay? If we and also you can create some means if you debug this thing you know, like home and you can see the ahref tag is coming you also do ahref over here but main problem the page will be refreshed if i will copy this thing and uh, of the element this thing and just instead of this thing what will happen let's see you see one flickering is there right you can the page is reload but if we use link the same thing the they will provide the age adapter but it will be in the state same state it will not refresh the enter page okay so let we recommend link inside the application or a routing we no need to add any a career tag and also you can do in the ul li we can create so we can cut it list also li Mm, cut it and paste. Mm -hmm. About on this page, there is a no need to import the home and about. Oh, what? I, I, I can understand what. Uh, home. home home and about we are oh, no. this, is the, this is the link means this is the navigation link you have to import in the uh, element in that route right in the route home and about i have input in the element over here in the app.js you can see mm, yeah and that is the nav bar you just what name the two i have used home right and also same thing i have to add in the home so that should be match but in the when you create the link that time no need to add uh, that means element or component required only one place in the route not the nav bar nav bar is declared like a href tag right in the href tag we are using and nav bar if you copy the creating the nav bar different files so it can also reuse this thing like if i will copy we can add we can add more slashes also right so if we go on that if we go on that link we, if we add slash home something else so that will also work right no 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 we have to declare the routes first oh sorry sorry yeah go ahead yeah Yeah. If, so if I will copy and paste nav bar, so different you can see. So multiple time you can add this thing. In the nav bar. Yes, in nav bar page, oh. there is a no need to add the component. Component will uh, connect. No, no. Component will add in the route. route. Yeah. Instead of component, you can also use this thing. But how, I mean, if your HTML is bigger, then how you can manage here, right? Yes. You cannot manage. You can see, instead of component, it will read the data from here. We cannot add this thing, but if your page and HTML is bigger, then we have to manage here, na? I cannot write those, those concepts over there. Na? That's why either you can write or you can this thing but component is you have to add over here 
a neighbor what who, who, who I have created because you can reutilize this thing again and again, right? So basically, we yes. have to declare the routes first. So inside hmm. the routes, we are declaring there is a slash home and slash about. Hmm. And uh, basically, now, the yes, basically the syntax is main syntax is that this thing main yeah. so browse route without, without browser route, routes, we cannot call the link no. home inside the nav bar, right? No, 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 right. no, 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 no. Inside so the inside browser the, route, yes, uh, route inside the browser there. route, everything will be stayed, otherwise, it will not work. So I have inputted app in the index.js now. That's why in the in the index file I have added. Right. Yeah. Okay. So I am not adding this thing browser route in that here. So it will nested inside the browser route. Your application. In the app, app I have added this thing. Yeah. So what I will do in the home dot I will create other link. The link you have to input this thing, and uh, that is your link react router DOM. Uh, react router, I will copy this thing. On. React uh, uh, link wherever you can use, you have to input this thing. Mm. And paste here. But you need wrapper because more than one element, you have you have to add one wrapper, right? That can be fragment. That can be div. Anything. That is fragment. Shortcut of fragment. Otherwise, you have to call React dot fragment. Or we can use div. We can use div. Yeah. The link. Uh, what I'll do? What is the difference between if we use the div or React fragment? So fragment will means if you add the div now, so div will wrap wrap this thing, right? But in the fragment, that the node will dynamically handle from the React. Means it's a div. Means if I add the CSS or this kind of thing, so that time I have to use the div. React fragment not a, means that that tag will not be understood. But React dot fragment we use because uh, it's a dynamically handled by the React instead of div. Okay. Okay. So, in real application, if we want to apply the style sheet also, and we want yes, to yes, yes. that time div, you have to use the div tag. Div tag may you can use the class name. Mm. But every time at the component, no need to add the style. Now that time you have to wrap with the React dot fragment. Okay, when okay. we don't need to apply the any style sheet at that time, we no, no, use no. the React. Yes, yes. yes. React fragment. Now I will go to go to about page. Okay. But Kaushik, we can add diff in React fragment also now because normally what happens is React fragment is React. We can apply parallel components at the same time. Hmm. React fragment is basically wrap this thing. But I'm I'm asking. I'm telling that the class name or CSS that will if you apply then div you have to use. Mm -hmm. Okay. Otherwise both are wrapped the component. Okay, you can use this thing or react dot fragment, but if you want some uh, container or you have to middle position the container into the CSS, right? Mm -hmm. That time you have to use the div. Okay. Uh, suppo uh, Koshi, suppose uh, we are means we have to apply the CSS there, and we want that particular div should be dynamic. So, uh, which practice should follow? Particular div should be not div should be dynamic, but I am telling that React dot fragment this tag, right? Mm -hmm. That is uh, that node, this node, the wrapper that is handled by the React. When if you uh, if I will add the React dot fragment first, I will complete this thing, then I will show you, right? So link and this thing, then I will show you. Okay. okay.
what will do about and in the home page same link have to copy about what i let about about and i will copy this thing go to the about this and that is the home Okay. about a speech mm -hmm. we'll never I will add it twice to check I have to remove this thing because we are confused so I am in the home page currently na? so I want to go there about us page and in the about us page to home page so to the link you can achieve this thing now what i will do in uh, for this yes. uh, for going from home page to about page we have yes. add the, that particular link in a particular home page right yes 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 and for uh, means uh, but if there are the multiple pages and we want to skip the one of the uh, means uh, their current page uh, link only then is any way to dynamically um, form that links? Means you, you want to skip? Yeah, just, just like in a home page, we can see only the about link. But uh, now here only two links are there. Okay. Uh, so you have to you have to create multiple links. So if you add the two in the two in which page you want to go, that link you have to add over there. the about us page i have added the home page routing right and in the home page i will use that uh, about us these two things differently right so you can also create dynamically you can if you want you can create the thing directly. but that that should be the dynamic place you have to create and then you have to input the thing but currently what i'm now one more thing that uh, sometimes we can follow that if i don't have any page right this it will not be handled so 404 page not found how can i handle this thing so create one component that is your page not found what it is So you'll add page one and page not found. This component I have created. Also, I am a input. And you have to input this thing in that app.js. Input page not found. This page I have to copy, add it. Now, have create other route and that is path is equal to path. and element is equal to your page not found. I'm going to add anything this not exist inside the component or in our page like DDD I have add. You can see page not found is coming. Earlier means anything though so I have used star. After the slash star, star means anything it can be counted and if the route is not there, it will be redirected to the page not found. 
or you can also same thing you can add the each one tag Uh, page not found. Page not found. Company. So basically, four zero four we have to handle. And instead the page not found, we'll create. URL not URL not present. I write update alert and link. To Go to which for um, We have to now the DOM. To redirect to the home page. Slash home is missing there. To okay. link. Oh, no, I understood. Let's go to home page where this is written. Home. That is your page, not home. What I love. Okay, I here I am not adding this component now. That's why not there. Everything is added. Which So anywhere we can add any routes or link or uh, like now I will create one contact us page and it will be redirected if the page is not found. I will create one thing. Mm. The app, the app dot cheese. What I'll do? I'll create route path is equal to something element. It will redirect. Earlier it was page not found. Now it will be redirected to the home page. What I will do? Element is equal to. I have to input the navigator. Link is not exist. Navigate. Navigate. I have to add.
and if my I'll create one tab that is contact us. The contact us page I am not creating, but link I will create. So that is contact. Contact and there uh, classroom class about class contact and here instead of page not one it will navigate it will go and this way in contact us page it will redirect to that home page this page and home page now what i will do i will navigate. i think it is not working no no no, no working on on me on me navigate no it uh, if, You have to add the page, home page link. I forgot oh. to add this. Page. Class, class in the home page. Okay, one bit. Yeah. Home. There's some problem. This problem is after the slash is added to path. Uh, no. In link. Oh. Oh, link. I have the counter one minute. No, 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 no. Yes, yes. Just do it. Oh. Navigate me, we will add one is in the current location. Uh, it will remove. Start to remove this one minute. Let me check one more minute.
After that, कमेंट लास्ट लास्ट लाइन 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 दिस स्टेटमेंट is what it has to work to a minute i'll do i have to take one minute to navigate so uh, not in time no when click this thing navigate something to come to you later this part navigate Is it working as previously worked? If you remove the navigate yes, yes. from here, yes, yes, it works. Okay. You can see that. Yes. So what what I am going to see that navigate uh, when I click the contact, na the contact hmm. page is not there, right? Hmm. So it will redirect to the home page. Yes. That, so hmm. navigate have to import here. Okay, maybe it is creating problem to import. Yes, but uh, something is problem uh, there. I will get back to you. Okay, I'm just saying, what the problem? Something is there. So okay. next thing is that uh, um, uh, that is called the dynamic routing with params. If suppose I have some parameters in my routing, so this value I have to just uh, like age is equal to or uh, ten on a uh, city is equal to any value. So how we can get this value on the React? That is also required. First, we'll create one. User file. Okay. You just you try create one user page, and then I have to import 
Now I will create one route path equal to slash user. element will create that user mm -hmm. oh. the well, if I'll go and create one user link Eli. link I'll use that minus well, right. and two is equal to user that hello take it here yeah. okay. yeah. One more thing. Small case is allowed because the user is a capital. No, no, that name uh, what you provided here in the link to right. That okay. is the component. That is the component. Here this link I have created. Huh? If I create the user. Okay, element is the identifier. Over there. Inside the element, the user is there. We'll copy and go to the number. And then. Okay. But if I have multiple pages, right? Or multiple link of the about the user. Then every time not possible to create this kind of hard coded thing, right? So mm -hmm. what I've added user class coship. Okay. So user class coship, this link is there and in the user page, this this link will open. So I'll do one thing. I'll use use param. Use param. Use param also hooks. These hooks coming from that React router term, like use effect or this thing. I'll put it and call param is equal to. And con one is equal to parents. In the app dot G what you will do add that name this name and inside the okay. 
this one with so if i will go Yes. So in the user page is coming right. So if I will go and this value, I this user coaching this this name I have to print over there. In the nav bar or in the user page, if I go and name one, this name one should be your name. Let's check one seven. Every time it's not saved, I cannot understand. Yes. Okay, let other name. Okay, this is how it's going to So dynamically, when this username or the slash, the dynamic routing, if I will get the value, then I have to place this use params. Any questions? Or you add other URL also. Okay. Next thing. In that path, uh, the uh, ABCC is required? No, no, no. That ABCC is, I mean, I if you, if some routing is there, na, if a user, so user slash name, right? Slash mm -hmm. coaching, this is a user name. So that's why I have used this thing. So this name, if I want to get the value from there, na, and the user dot js, I have get the value, right? So the use yes. params. So this name, user and dynamically, you have to place the name, name one. Okay. This name, if you place, this is my param. Mm -hmm. This param, I have to get from this my param. And I have this structuring, this thing, name one. Okay. Mm -hmm. And if you if you add this thing, then this name dynamically place. If you change my name, means other name, like cozy to other name. So this this can this can also be work now uh, so if you get the value from there right mm. now one thing is link and nab link that is also important so i'm going to nab the Equal to map to create some CSS when display not map bar. Hmm. 
number i will write on css text line right and so how it works first let it check And add dot CSS is there. And to import the app dot CSS import app dot CSS. In Nebba, I'll just modify the CSS part once again. It's plain line block. Okay. Okay. Adding that is what you want to fill and test and Never put like not not yes. And if I use that CSS in the link. So it's not recommended every day, means from the React perspective. So in the link, if we want to create the CSS, so instead of link, we just replica this thing and create nav link. If you add CSS inside that link, so we, it's not recommended in the React style component. So we have to create the nav link. So we'll copy and this part I have to. And instead of link, what I'll do, I'll input the nav link. Nav link. Nav link, I will replace this thing. Nav link. Okay. Nav link. And nav link, this I have to replace once more. Then I can use the class name. The class name we use number this class. You can use or to the class name paste here. This tooling currently not required. And if I will apply some CSS,
will take time for rendering. Yes. Nab link and also sim, it will also work like contact home this. So if you want to add the CSS, instead of link, we can we have to use that nav link. None and some hover effect. I also put it. Or you can also place inline style, the style, color, and value, any value we can take black or green. Add so in first element, I've added this style, so it has added. So you can also create the class name or you can also create the style. Now, next thing is how we can activate means active link, how we can understand it. So that next thing active, we can create the active link. So in active link, you can see in the CSS, by default, HTML has provided some active. So if you write the active class and do that CSS, so it will also activate. But in React, how can do that, right? So I, if I will create one active, I'll create one active link, dot active. The app dot css and go app dot css dot active Click color You see, active is, is activated, but in the React, this thing you can achieve, right? So what I will do, I will create this style in that navbar, just pick it, one minute, class name and style, and style. Will create a function. Callback function, right? Callback function. What I will write is active. You can see is active by default. Is coming right? Is active. And in return, if we we'll add some background color. Background color that is green. It's green only. Hmm? That's still active. But problem is that we have to check the page is active or not. So we have to create this function and we have to check. The background color is active or not, right? So, what I will do is active. This thing. And
Not active, so it is not showing. Then we have to place it in every everywhere. This calls function. Let's try. Hello. Hello. Yes. No, no question. Okay, okay. Next thing is that use params. This hook. I want to show this is the last thing. The use param, how we can use. I'll create one page that will be your filter JS filter page not here. Koshik, one question. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Uh, we um, miss we put the um, miss inline style sheet there for is active process. We, can we do same thing with the um, global uh, miss um, other CSS? Other CSS means external, other external CSS. External, uh, you 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 uh, that that's why I'm telling now. I have add the active class here, right? Yes. So you can add the class and also add the over here. So I have added the active class earlier, now. So active mm -hmm. class is provided means when you render the page, that time active class is by default. React has provided this active class. If you want to add other class, then class name you have to add over there. Okay, in the class name, you can see navbar link I have added now. You see, you can use this class, multiple class name you can add. Okay. okay. And you will add in the app.css and you have to write the style, and then it will be showing. I'll use you search param means from that URL if you want to search the parameters the value that how can I do that you search param on same that is also who search param Copy search param search param is equal to what I will write use search param right I have to add and if I want to get the value like console dot log what the value are coming? Uh, 
search for on dot get right so i have to incorporate the uh, filter page first and then i have to add the routing So app dot js import filter page right to copy cloud or data element is equal to filter page and here I have to add the value that is your filter Um, yes, in the filter. I see that it is working or not on the net. Okay, it will the compile filter page and put react and import react on. The mistake yeah, gate will come not coming. So now uh, what I want to get the value like filter and then if any param param was is equal to any value. This um, if I want to get this value, then how can I do that, right? param1 if your parameter is there this parameter you have to add that param1 you can see the value is coming in 23 param1 this value you have to print you can uh, use multiple things param2 and copy this thing and param2 okay now values are coming now i have to print this value like create const param1 is equal to Yes. Okay. Um, 
Now what I will do in that page if I will take H2 Karam one value you can get from there. I'll copy Karam two hello is there. In the parameter, these values are coming. We we can also update this value. So I'll create one thing button. Update the params value. What I'll do? I'll create one on click function. Click. And with such param, here param one is equal to any value I'll change. Okay, wait, what are we going to see? Uh, yes, we'll. Or I will get name process. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So these values are coming right? param one. So it will also be changed and update through that parameter. You can use multiple values and also And for param two, will be param two. Yes. Okay. Yeah, two values are coming. Also, if you take one input type text box and uh, Input type text on change. On change. Can you can also do get search param. Also, another value like text. Or if to pass the event name here e and do one thing e dot target dot hello hello they're coming and also object any questions? So, so is there any questions? Or otherwise, I'll stop the.